Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Welcome to episode 121. We are talking today about mercy, and mercy is kindness to those who don't deserve it. Mercy is kindness to the undeserving. We're in Matthew chapter 5, verse 7 in the Beatitudes, and it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. And this is the only Beatitude that I see that has this perfect symmetry, that is that you do this and then you're going to get it in the end. It's sort of the eye for an eye beatitude. You get what you give. One thought about mercy that I would like to start with is that mercy must be extended. That is, it's more than a disposition. It's It has to be done in community. It has to be done with people. It has to be done towards someone. That's an expression that's usually used with mercy. Mercy uh, is extended. Mercy extended towards some other people. And those people are always undeserving. That is that they're specifically um, a, a, an indebted, a lowly, an offensive set of people. It's a need-filled person. So when you extend mercy, you're giving that person uh, more than they deserve. Now, uh, I'd like to compare and contrast mercy with kindness. So these are just simple thoughts, but being kind is being nice to someone who deserves it. Uh, I read this uh, thing on Facebook the other day where a person had gone to an Outback Steakhouse and didn't get good service, and then the manager treated them poorly, and uh, they were upset that the that this transactional relationship, that is, when you go to a an Outback Steakhouse, you expect a certain level of kindness, of niceness from the manager, and, and that person didn't get their transactional uh, niceness, and so that's how I would define kindness. Now, mercy is more than that. It's a person that uh, you don't have that contractual nice relationship with. Um, You have no reasonable expectation of a transactional, that person being nice to you. So it's contractless. It's pure gift. So the whole idea of you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours, that mercy is a person who cannot scratch your back or even worse, someone that could scratch your back and doesn't. So if you line up all the people today that you're gonna interact with, that you should be kind to, and line them up in sequential order, the last person in that line, the person that you'd pick last for that, that person is the mercy person. All right, so mercy is an essential character Uh, of God. It's an essential characteristic of God, and it's at the heart of God's character. Uh, When Moses was at the point where he's just getting to know God, and who is this burning bush uh, God? Show me your glory. Show me your ways. And then when God introduces himself in Exodus 34, uh, verse 6 and following, he says, I abound in this. I abound in hesed, and in the New Testament that's translated this this word, mercy. And that is that God expends a, a great amount of the engine of his resources, specifically on those who cannot repay, and maybe even those who don't repay, and worse, those who won't repay. So this is essential character of God. And then in this passage, he says that the road to intimacy with him, that is blessedness, the road to intimacy with God is paved with mercy, which is kindness towards those who don't deserve it. So he's gone to great lengths to explain himself in particular in this way. He majored in mercy. When he went to college, he majored in mercy. So it's goodness, it's kindness towards the undeserving. So my first thought is, God, good for you. I'm happy face towards God. But then there's this almost command, uh, or at least a charge, where he desires it and he wants it in us. 
So he says, if you want to know me, be merciful. If you want to walk with me, be merciful. If you want to follow me, be merciful. So today, find someone to be merciful towards. That is someone that you have to extend mercy, reach out and give it. And what kind of person should you look for? Well, someone who you owe nothing and they can give you nothing in return. So God uh, similarly owed us nothing and gave us everything that is his that is his son. So as we look around for someone to be merciful, look for someone who can't return anything to you, someone who can't scratch your back, or disturbingly, someone who will not return your favor, maybe not even in gratefulness with their mouth or heart, or certainly not in any sort of tangible uh, way. So maybe look for someone who disagrees with you, someone who disapproves of you, someone who dislikes you. So if you're saying, gosh, I'd like to know God better, then extend his mercy and see what you learn, see what you feel, see what you experience, because it's an essential characteristic of of him. So before the sun sets tonight, purpose in your heart to be merciful to someone. Um, And mercy is not just a disposition of your heart. It's an action. It's a it's something that has to be extended and t- towards who? Someone who doesn't deserve it. Someone maybe that's hurt you or someone that is currently hurting you or someone that you can't that certainly cannot repay you or won't repay you. And if you do this, you'll you'll sort of be like God uh, or at least know ex- experientially what he has done for you. And then the great part about the verse is that's exactly what he's going to do for us. He's going to extend mercy for us. Someone, he doesn't owe us anything at the, at the end of our lives, but he says he's going to give it to us. So, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Go find someone to be merciful today. I'll see you tomorrow.